Hey guys, this is the Unlucky Angel Star. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know I make a variety of content on my channel from reviews on games and anime, and make random videos from time to time. I also used to do parodies, and I do plan on bringing that back in the future, but one of my other favorite projects to do is Set for Smash a series of potential concepts of what we could see in Super Smash Bros. This was inspired by YouTube channels like Pizza Dude Man Guy, Del Zethan, and of course, Brawl Fan 1. But it's been nearly a year since the last character was announced in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and Smash speculation has gone down quite considerably. Now that doesn't mean I'm ending the series entirely, I mean Season 3 is going to be starting up real soon, and just like all those other YouTube channels, they are also expanding their content so they don't lose their audience. And yeah, I'm doing the same thing too, but what series do you think I'll be talking about? Well, recently I got to play a title just like Smash Bros. in a way, which features an extensive and constantly expanding roster, which we all know as Multiverses, a platform fighter featuring a lot of big titles within the licensed realm of Warner Brothers. So yes, this will be a brand new moveset concept series where we enter the Multiverses. That's also going to be the title of the series. In this video, I'll be breaking down how these characters would work within the realm of Multiverses. The gameplay of both Multiverses and Smash Brothers are similar yet extensively different. So there will be some similarities to Set for Smash put into this title, but I will also be adding some noteworthy differences as well. Of course, we'll be starting with the origins of the characters, where they originated, and how they would be introduced into the world of multiverses. There's actually a lot of extensive history with a lot of these characters. After the origins, we actually talk about the character class. As of now, there are currently five different character classes within the game. From what I've gathered, bruisers specialize in physical combat, and are some of the heaviest hitters in the game. Mage slash ranged characters are projectile based characters. The assassin class are extremely agile characters, and a lot of the characters do use weaponry of some sort. The tank class are glutton for punishment. They can tank up hits as much as they can deal hits. And lastly is the support class. The support class are really exceptional with healing based abilities, and they specialize in giving buffs to allies and debuffs to enemies. After explaining the class of the character, I'll actually go into detail of their fighting style. Now in Set for Smash, I actually went into full detail on how these characters would fight in the game. The assortment of attacks in multiverses is actually much smaller than it is in Smash Bros. And sometimes a lot of those standard attacks are not really inspired by their source material. I will however go over a short explanation on how the character will fight in the game. Also, I will explain the three different types of fighting styles. Horizontal fighters are characters who specialize in attacks that are usually from left to right. Vertical fighters are specializing in attacks that go up to down. And of course, the hybrids are all-arounders. Though I won't go into more detail about their fighting styles, their special attacks, of course, I will be talking about extensively. With their standard special, their side special, their up special, and their down special. Though, that's actually not the only iterations of their special attacks. Some characters also have two different variants of said attacks. These are known as the ground specials and the aerial specials. I'll of course be categorize them in the special attacks based on what type of special you're supposed to use. And one of the newest additions that make multiverses so unique to the game is the perk system. More specifically, the unique perks some characters get. But due to the fact that the game is still fairly new, I will only be keeping it at the maximum of two perks I'll be talking about. After going into detail of how the character would play in the game, I'll also go into detail within their taunts, as well as the alternate costumes. At max, I will be doing four taunts and four alternate costumes, with the last costume in my opinion being the legendary costume. And to conclude, enter the multiverses, one of the biggest inclusions within the game is unique dialogue with specific characters. So that's how I would conclude, enter the multiverses. I'll be doing three unique dialogues based off the specific character I'm talking about, interacting with characters already confirmed in the roster. Usually this is how I would end Enter the Multiverses, but I decided to add a little more extra near the conclusion. I'm going to ask you guys what you want to see in Multiverses. Just leave a comment down below on which character costume you'd like to see, as well as a unique dialogue for specific characters. Just know, I will only be doing characters who are officially in the roster, so as of recording of this, this also includes LeBron James and Rick and Morty. You can also choose alternate costumes and unique dialogues for characters I will be talking about in the near future. I've already chosen my first five characters I'll be talking about. For the first five videos, I'll be talking about one character per class. So if you have any guesses on who these characters might be, leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and tune in to Enter the Multiverses when we talk about our first character.